Today I am checking out the demo for Oddsparks. It is a fantasy auto adventure game and apparently this demo has three plus hours of gameplay and it also already has a multiplayer in beta that you can try out. Look at these little guys working away. Are these tree stumps chopping wood? Why are these little swords in a pen up here? We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's see what this is all about. Right away, an adorable character creates skin color. So you have some presets, but we also can just go wild with it as well. Hair type. Teeth? Oh, that's for the cloak. I was like, hair type teeth? What is going on here? Okay. Oh, we can do clothing. Wait, hold on. The poncho. Oh, it's a poncho, not a cloak. A tail? What is this? Swing around. We can add like a little patch in. Okay, I kind of like it without the patch though. Even though the patch is cute. Poncho pattern. Stripes. Dots. <gasps> Spider-Man? I kind of like the... Wait, what is leaves? No, I do like the leaves. The leaves is good. Oh, we change the colors of the little guys when we do this. I do like the green, but maybe like this and then color two. Okay, I don't think that's changing anything on the little guys. The second color is just on my cloak. And the, oh, this is my shirt color. Socks, short or long socks. Let's go long socks. Decorations. <gasps> Cute. I like the double ears. Oh, you can do like a little dinosaur. No, we're doing double ears. Do you want to save your changes? Save. Village name. Do Dawson. Dawson. No, let's just keep it. Like, let's just. All right. You've named it for me. Let's go. There's a chest and I already want to open that. I don't even think it's mine, but I want to open it. It is a calm and quiet day, and you are relaxing on your bench. Ah, my bench. So I own this bench. This is my house. All of your daily tasks are done, and the warm sun gently lulls you to a midday nap. You dream of an adventure. Of a more exciting life than the one you have right now in the frontier village. What is that? It looks cute, but it also looks giant at the same time. What is this? This is like a spider rabbit. When suddenly, an intense crash comes from down the field and wakes you up. Something cra- oh, here we go. This is me. I can't do anything yet. Clean up the broken shed. <laughs> when you hover on it and it says, used to be a large building for you to store items in. It's not anymore. It's clear that there is no way to fix the shed and you begin to clean up the area. As you clean the debris and shards of wood, you find a gleaming metal object in the middle of the mess. This must have been the thing that crashed into you and destroyed your shed. Unsure of what it is, you pick up the strange metal object and put it away for now. You should first replace your shed. I need to rebuild my shed. Open the map to find a woodsman. Talk to the woodsman. Complete rebuilding the shed. Ooh, pixel art map. I like it. Oh, oh, I'm marking things and I did not want to do that. How do I unmark? Like this. The woodsman is up here. So we're going to go to the north. We have a quest log, a quest overview and a notebook. Can I go in my house? No, I can't. All right. Oh, I can gather. Oh, it takes a little bit of time. I have some resources. What if I gather one that has berries on it? Okay. Wait, so I have an inventory? How do I... Where is my inventory? Tap. There it is. Wooden log and leaves. Oh, I just sorted. Okay. There's a build mode. Don't know how to use that yet. Map, quest log, quest overview, notebook. Oh, I can learn about where I can harvest things from. Nice. Oh, I have like an aim mode. What does F do? 
Oh, I'm just pinging. I can talk to the ancient shrine. An ancient stone ruin stands in front of you. It's clearly magical in some way and holds forgotten information in its carvings. Oh, well, the researcher. It's really fascinating, right? I can't help but wonder what the divine are like. Their ruins and shrines are everywhere in the land. He's just standing on a stack of books. Can I open this? Oh. Nothing in here. That's the divine researcher's chest. Did that telescope just move? It did. That's cool. Talk to the woodsman. I think he's up here. Here he is. What does this do? Well, that's a logger. Maybe we shouldn't touch that yet. Hmm. Something crashed into your shed? Well, sure, I can teach you how to fix up a new one. Rebuilding the shed. I need wooden logs from the logger. Don't forget to collect the logs out of the logger or harvest them from bushes around the village. Deliver items to quest givers by putting them in their storage. Oh, their storage is for giving the quest items. Infinite. Okay, so I put this here. Craft. Do I just click clicking this? Oh, and then I collect from here. So I could just infinitely stand here because it's an infinite resource and do this. Okay, but that's not, not what we're going to do. I'm figuring it out. So he wants five. How do I split items? Control. I need five. There we go. Got your five logs. Delivered. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Here's that sword to be need. Now all you have to do is rebuild the shed. Rebuild my shed. Why is there an arrow here? Ah, oh, is this where I need to place? All right. Use the build menu. Shed. How do I? It's in. Oh, did I put it like? Oh, I put the door at the. <laughs> no. How do I unbuild something? Okay, this is we're about to learn how to unbuild something. Um No we're not, because I can't. Edit constructions. Aha. Uh -huh. See I didn't think realize this thing had a door. There we go. Now I like that. Don't know what to do. Use the map to see if someone in the village has a new quest for you. I also have more notes. Who is this? Ah, the researcher that I saw before. Hmm, you need my help with a weird thing? I love weird things. Let me see. Oh, what if I poke it right... A strange piece of metal you picked up from your broken shed comes alive. It wraps itself around your brooch and staff and suddenly a wealth of information enters your mind. Dazed, you look at the ancient tablet nearby to the researcher and realize you can understand the ancient writings. Ancient alien being falling from the sky? The ancient tablet seems particularly wrecked, but you can definitely read some of the text. Something about magic, devastation, a spark, something about hope. You relay everything to the researcher. Ah. You can understand it? This is incredible, amazing news. I... You must look at the village monument for me. Okay. I accept. <laughs> Go without me, I'll just slow you down. You come back and tell me what you find, you hear? He just doesn't want to get off his stack of books. Can I shortcut through here? Yes, I can. Ooh, I never came over here before. Examine. The village monument looms above you, quietly and with the weight of its years behind it. You extend your hand and the strange metal in your brooch radiates a soft light. Suddenly the carvings on the stone itself begin to shift into text. You barely have time to understand what you see as writing appears and disappears. You can't catch all of the information, something about being last accessed several million days ago. The word danger catches your eye. Clearly the monument is more than you had all assumed. The words settle for a moment. Dangerous levels of corrupted ether detected. Cleansing pulse routine initiated. You can hear the monument rattle. Something inside is trying to happen, but nothing happens. Etheric cleansing failed. Function keys missing. 
cleansing routine recommended danger to life critical oh well that's not good a piece of stone moves aside to reveal a handful of empty key slots oh we're collecting keys you should tell the divine researcher about everything you found oh nine different keys that's a lot of keys all right what are you guys the mason sisters i like it this little place i just want to go in the building so bad oh what's this one doing um, that might be the Mason sisters out. Is there a farm up here? How do I get up here? Climb this little hill. A little farm. Not me finding out that life is in critical danger and then just getting excited about this cute farm. All right, where is the researcher? You describe everything you've seen when the village monument was activated to the divine researcher. The strange text, the missing spark keys, how it tried to do a cleansing pulse but failed. The divine researcher's natural smile falls as he tries to digest everything. We've had individuals explore north past the woodlands and even past the mountains. The ones that travelled furthest returned ill and talked about how the magic, the ether itself, felt strange. Some had used the word corrupted. Uh -huh. It would explain a lot if the village monument could clean corrupted ether. It did seem odd that this place was so perfect to make a new village in. Sounds like we should turn it on and try it out. Yeah, why not? Why not just turn on the 20,000 year old device and see what happens? I suppose we'll have to find the missing spark keys first, and perhaps more. I'll see what I can dig up first in my notes. Hmm. This village has existed for a few decades now without any problems. I don't think the threat is so immediate that we'll all fall sick out of nowhere. Just be careful in your adventures. So, this village is safe, but beyond the reach of this monument, the ether is being corrupted. Can I leave the village then on my adventures? There's a cave up here. Oh, an old mine shaft. Why does he want to talk to me again? Uh -huh. But for now, there are lots of ancient shrines that you could translate. I know there's quite a few in the woodlands. Perhaps they would even reveal more about our mystery. Uh -huh. You're technically not allowed to go out there. It can be quite dangerous, but I won't tell anyone. Yes, go through the old mine shaft, examine the ancient shrine outside the village, solve the mystery of the ancient sign. Uh -huh. Accepted. So you just keep going through the old mine shaft and there should be this strange looking little building. I call them ancient shrines. It has this kooky little golden statue on the top. Yeah. You have my permission, so go. Have a fun adventure. Can the researcher give me permission to do this though? All right, we go into the old mine shaft. I have, I can't even like attack things. Is it, am I gonna have to? Corruption sounds like I'm gonna have to fight something. We got this new, new area. Let's. Go. Oh, what is that thing over there? Oh, I don't know what these are, but I'm picking up. What is this? field spunny oh it's a spider bunny so it's the thing that was in the loading screen <sighs> that's kind of creepy what do i do with it nothing i could just i could just pin it okay it's not bothering me so for now i'm not gonna bother it what is this Ancient container? Yeah, I'll open an ancient container. Etheric clump. Ether shard. Okay. I really want to be able to jump for some reason. I keep pressing space so I can jump. It's not, it's not an option. Is this it? Oh, an ancient waypoint. We've got fast travel. Ancient waypoints are immediately unlocked in the demo. It requires a constant supply of fuel. Use the map to teleport to a fueled waypoint. So I just... Oh, you're just going to drain my energy. I found the ancient shrine with this kooky little statue on top, but there's also this. Dot, dot, dot of logs. I'll call them stumpy sparks. They're the first step in making it right. We've got to make something right. You start looking at the shrine, but as you look closer, it's more evident that it's not actually a shrine, but some kind of machine. You extend your hand and the strange metal in your brooch radiates a soft light. With a touch, the machine rumbles as it works by itself. After a short moment, the machine stops and displays some writing. From what you can understand, the shrine usually is capable of making something called a stumpy spark. However, it's currently broken and is asking for some items to fix itself. Oh, this is the little stumpy guy. Okay, I need five logs and an ether shard. 
You touch the shrine and a small hatch opens to reveal a slot to put the items inside. You leave it for now. I have not five logs apparently. I have two. Okay, so I just need logs and I've got the shard already. Can I... Can't, I can't do anything to the trees. Just bushes. Oh, there are so many. Well, this is kind of creepy. And what is this? A Belephant corpse? Oh, these things are corpses that I was searching before? That's great. Oh, ancient base. The ruins of a small ancient workstation. It's like I've got a horn. But who knows where I'm going? Oh, the mountains. I think. Oh, warning, you are leaving the demo area. Okay, don't do that. Don't teleport me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for exploring too far. Everything the light touches is yours. Except those shadows over there. <gasps> I found another ancient shrine. You extend your hand to touch the shrine and the strange metal in your brooch radiates a soft light. The machine clarifies that it is capable of making a choppy spark, but is currently broken. Oh, I need stumpy sparks to get choppy sparks. Okay. Noted. Ooh, is this a chest? I take all the resources. Where did I go? Where did I run? Too far is where I ran. I need to go back down here. Okay, I'm back. I already forgot what you said you needed. Five logs and a shard. Five logs... Shard. There you go. The shrine slowly whirs to life. It takes the items and begins to fix itself. It seems to be running some kind of test and is checking that everything still works. Suddenly, it spits out a rather strange creature into your arms. The shrine notes that the stumpy spark has been immediately activated as part of the test. The stumpy spark stares at you and it seems ready and eager to receive instructions. However, before anything can be done... With a puff of magic, the stubby spark turns into a wooden disc that fits in your hand. With the spark's deactivation successful, the shrine claims that it is now fully operational and is ready to be assigned sparks. The strange metal in your staff changes and slots that can fit the disc appear. You place it in and the stumpy spark begins to follow you. Okay. I have a stumpy spark. In aim mode, you can throw sparks equipped to your active sparks bar. You can also call them back. Some objects require special sparks to harvest them. Oh, did I just throw it back in there? Oh no, it's working on it. So if I give it... I need to get more wood. I need to give it more wood to create another stumpy spark. Okay, I've got my little guy. Can he do anything with trees? Oh, he can. Why can't I help with the trees? Oh, he's dizzy. Why is he dizzy? All right, he's back to work. All right. What if I throw him at this thing? Oh. <laughs> the way it dies is... No, don't keep fighting them. You can stop. I just needed one. I just wanted to see what happened. He went on a rampage. Damn, give him an inch, I take a mile. All right, so if I then assign him here, and I... Oh, I didn't throw him. You gotta be accurate when you throw, throw a little guy. Okay, so he's in there. Now he's auto making this for me. All right. I'll go collect this wood that he uh, chopped up. He's just rolling in the pink stuff. <laughs> what? So I got another guy. Uh 
Okay. All right, first we're gonna have to collect a whole bunch of wood, so. Work together, it will go faster. This would be interesting with like multiplayer because that's going to be a lot of sparks running around with multiple people in the game. You, you could have a lot of stuff happening at once. Yeah, take, oh, too far away. Let me pick this up. Oh, this is a spunny burrow. This is where they're spawning from. Okay, what happened? Can we attack this? These spunnies might not like. Oh, they glow. Their eyes glow. Get out of here. No, they killed one of my guys. That was scary. Okay. Maybe let's not try and destroy the home of mobs that we are. Can't even fight. All right, let's go make some more guys. Because the more I make, the more I can go out the faster. It's like exponential gathering growth. Bunch of, oh, I tried to put in the wrong slot. Oh, 20 is the stack limit? Oh, for logs, really? Okay. Interesting. Oh, um, put my guy, put my guy, put my guy in there. He's going to roll around and do his thing. I think this game having automation in its name... And like the previews being like very automated processes. I thought, I was like, what am I going to be doing while this automation is happening? But we haven't really hit a point of very much automation yet. And I like that. How'd you go? Did you make a buddy? I got one buddy, so I'll give you another buddy. Because then, then we're speeding up that process. Give you some more logs. You guys are going, you're doing great. Why are logs can only stack 20, but these can stack up to 35? I haven't reached the limit yet. And then you guys make another guy and I take this guy. Look at you guys go. How do I get more spark slots? Or is three as many as I get? Attack. Oh, don't worry. We didn't need all of you. Oh, you're going to go pick your own fight. No, right, come back. Stop trying to fight everything. Oh. oh my god, it's a elephant. It's huge. Okay, the one thing we're not going to do is attack that thing right now. That is wild. Does it fly? That'd be crazy. Okay, we're just going to... It's cute, but it's massive. We're just going to let it... Can I swim? Okay, we can't enter the water. A question has been answered. Oh, is this a different shrine? You extend your hand to touch the shrine and the strange metal in your approach radiates the soft light as the machine begins to hum and come to life. This machine clarifies that it is capable of making an ether shard but is currently broken. So it can't make an ether shard? Oh, I gotta deliver five shards? Five shards. The shrine whirs into life. It takes the items and begins to work by itself. It seems to have refined the etheric pellet. Oh, it can refine. Yeah, why not? If these can't be used for anything else, you might as well... We'll leave one guy here doing that. What does this say? Animating force for the sparks. The etheric distillation process. Okay, that's going. They ran out of wood so they couldn't make more sparks. Here, I have wood for you. Oh, I can stack them? Oh, this changes everything. I didn't realize I could stack the active sparks. I could have so many then. So I need 15. I need more wood. We need more wood. I'm starting to form a small army.
It's so funny when they are chopping wood and they're done with the task, they like come back. But when they're fighting enemies and they finish fighting an enemy, they just go to the next one. Wait, can I get them to gather things for me? Oh, I can just throw them to pick these up. <gasps> what is that? Oh, it doesn't like me. It doesn't like me. Run, everybody run. Everybody, everybody, everybody run. <laughs> It's guarding a chest though. All oh, this multiple of them. Oh, it's mad. It's mad. Run, 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 run. <laughs> They're so funny. They're so funny when I run away and they follow. Oh, this is that Belefoot corpse again. Are these guys guarding the corpse, though? I don't want to try and uh, gather that if they're protecting it. I think I can craft one of these guys now. Uh, deliver four Stumpy Spark. I'm sorry to the Stumpy Sparks that are going to have to be sacrifices. Four and four wooden panels. Coming to life! This one too spits out a rather strange creature into your arms. The shrine notes that the crafty spark has been immediately activated as part of the test. Alright. Oh, it gave me two crafty spark. Let's get these bad boys out. I can't see them. What are they? Oh, they're like spanners. They're like spanner head or wrench heads. That's cute. They have one big eyeball though. Enter the village. I feel like I've been gone for three weeks. And I'm just I'm just gonna come back to the village with all these guys. Everyone's gonna be like, what did you do? What did you do? You tell the divine researcher on everything you've seen about the ancient shrine, especially the rather strange creature that came out of it after you fixed it. You now have a small army of them standing behind me. So they're called sparks, you say. How unusual. Clearly I have some research to do. Mmm, <laughs> they're quite cute. You should show them around. Maybe others in the village will have some thoughts or ideas on them. What do you think about them? What are those little guys? Sparks, you say? And you can get them to do work for you? Hmm, tell me more. You see his eyes twinkle in thought as you describe the ancient shrine and how the sparks work in one. He mutters something and nods to himself. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yes, of course. That's pretty ingenious. Right, let me have a few, will you? And get me some materials. I want to try making a log up for your little sparks. I just have to keep giving away my little spark, guys. You need 10 log. I'm pretty sure I'd have everything for this right now, right? 10 logs. 5 stone. 5. And 2 stumpy sparks. There you go. Hmm. Of course, since they're so small, they'll need a low table and it's done. One very important thing, you'll need a etheric orb to build the logger. They offset the ether in the giant trees, you see. Hmm. You don't really need to know what that means. But let me tell you, I've personally tried harvesting these giant trees without an etheric counterbalance and it took two whole months to regrow my moustache. We first found the etheric orb in the Belefoot corpses oh, that are around in the woodlands. I'm sure you can find more, but for now, I'll give you a few that I have spare. I go over here. You're telling me I can put a logger in. Harvester. Oh my god, it's huge. Oh, I can't put it there. Why not? No, no, no. Oh, I have to put it on a giant tree. Okay, hold on. Huh? Hey, so those weird dolls of yours. The woodsman was showing them off. They follow instructions, right? Uh. You think they can carry stuff too? Now you want some of my stumpy sparks. Oh. Three? I'm gonna have none left. Here you go. <gasps> it works! They walk on the paths. They pick up items from buildings they pass. They drop off items in the build if the buildings they pass can use them. Huh. They also pick up items on a path if it's in their way. But they only walk on the right side of the path for some reason. Here, let me show you how to make a dirt path. Build a logger. 
connect a logger to a stumpy spark shrine, throw stumpy spark on the path, transport wooden log, craft stumpy spark. So this is going to be our first bit uh -huh. of automation. Okay, back through the cave. Right. Stumpy spark shrine. I see what's happening. Build a logger. Oh, I can zoom out. Why Why did I not listen to the tutorial about that, the fact that I could zoom out? Okay, built. So now I have to build a path. Path. I have infinite path. Okay. Okay. Throw Stumpy Spark on the path. Oh, I need to throw some in here to harvest. And then throw a couple in there to work that machine. Alright, they're transporting the wood. And then what- oh, these guys aren't working because they need this. I was like, why aren't these guys doing anything? And the automation process begins. But I saw I could also connect this to this so they can... Oh, they could continuously power this. Because this needs wood to power, right? So, if I add a path where they come around here first to see if this needs powering. This tree is in the way. Can somebody work on this, please? They can walk down here. Okay, so they should... Oh, where are they going with those spark things? Where are you guys trying to take them? Okay, I don't want them to collect these, so I gotta remove... How do I remove the path? Okay, because I want to collect these. They were walking around with them before and I was like, nope, what are you doing? This should make it more efficient to you, yeah, like this guy. Like, why do, you, why do you have that? That's not your job. All right, we, we have a system working for, oh no, this guy's got this thing again. We'll leave these guys doing their thing. I'll take these. All right, off you go. Go let this person know. Oh. Oh, you're using them to do things. I'm just going to steal your wood. Complete. She nods as you explain to her what happened when you created the production line, and her lips relax into a soft and satisfied smile. Ha! Nice. Here, take this as a gift. Thank you. Can I, like, call these guys back? <gasps> they can be mine. Oh, you have something to say to me? All right, so I was thinking that maybe we can get these sparks and not just harvest the wood, but actually craft with it. I'll need quite a lot of materials to try out some different ideas, but you and your sparks can do it. A hundred wooden logs. You want a hundred wooden logs? I can't do the choppy sparks until I figure out wooden blades. So this is going to have to be my active quest. 100 logs. Oh, how many do I already have? 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh, I already have like all the logs that I need. 
100 logs, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Perfect timing. Let me show you my final design. So much of the machinery is inside of the building. It simplifies the work so those sparks of yours don't have to do anything too complex. Mm -hmm. And no offense, but they're not very smart. When I try to give a complex order to one, they just get very confused. Of course, there's always more room for improvement, but try it out. All right, I got a saw bench. I don't know what I'm doing with the saw bench. Building to refine basic wood items. I can go from a wood log to a saw tin. Ah, this is what he had. So you're gonna get restricted on where you do these automations based on where these like large powerful trees are. So I wonder if you can grow some of these or determine where they get put later on. So I'm gonna need a harvester. What way do I want it to face? Maybe this way? No, maybe that way. Okay, there's a harvester. Oh, it's so tiny. Okay, I'll just build it next door to it. Then I build a path. Easy. Now throw some of you guys on there. Oh wait, I need to throw a couple of you in there. Oh, and I need to throw a couple of you in there. So is this still the only quest? I still don't know how to make a wood blade. This quest guide is kind of cool, like the tiers of the quest. It tells you what you need. So if I want to do this quest, Spark Creation, I need to have completed these two and that one, which this one I haven't done yet. But that's kind of cool. It tells you like what quests rely on other quests to get done. That's so cool. Oh, the mayor wants to talk to me. Hello. You look like you're being a very busy beelephant today. How about I teach you how to have an eye on things when you have a lot of tasks to do? The mayor tells you of the tricks that she uses to take a look at the bigger picture and figure out what to take care of next. With the mayor's advice, you create a quest over you. Oh, that's what I was just looking at. I just happened to be looking at the quest overview. Oh. I've been looking through my research and it seems that these sparks are entirely unique. You're the first person to discover such a thing. Uh -huh. What, are you surprised that this old man can actually do some work? Divine technology is my speciality, I'll have you know, and I've been thinking, maybe we can recreate these spark machines. The divine researcher grins, his eyes full of passion. He takes out several pages full of questions that he's prepared to ask you. Hmm. Okay, I can give you this stuff. I see. So it uses the etheric energies as other divine technology, and it certainly fits some other hypotheses, but replicating the actual process? Well, nothing to do but try. So we're going to try and be able to recreate. This is good. Okay, so then we can start trying to move processes around that we want to move around you need 10 stumpy sparks okay there you go and ether shard done it's done so there's no way of building this without the ancient bases the piping is vital and i can't quite replicate it but i've also made it process agnostic it means you can use it to make other types of sparks what? I know there are more shrines out there, but I bet you a warm dinner that there's more sparks too. I always thought that these statues were minor deities, but to think that they were these creatures? Okay, I got a spark workbench. A building to craft sparks out of wood must be built on an ancient base. The ancient base are those little, like, crumbled structures that we saw out here in the woods. These things, I can build them here on these. These regenerate stuff, no. Build spark workbench. What do I need? I need more wood, more pink things. It is time to get to work, my friends. Oh, 
All right. Is that enough resources? So if I put this here... I can now use it to... Make more sparks. Task complete. You describe your experience with the spark workbench to the researcher as he furiously scribbles his notes. For each thing you tell him, it feels like he's writing five different thoughts. After you finish, the old man furrows his eyebrows deep in thought and sighs gently. Uh -huh. If only I was a decade or two younger. Ah, uh, but I'm very glad to even be alive to help your adventures and discoveries. Here, take these. You'll find them a use for them, I'm sure. Yes, I need more shard. I have a quest with the mayor that I can accept. Let's go over to the mayor. Uh. Look, I know that everyone is excited for these spark thingies, but I don't like you going out there so much. There's a reason that we don't let everyone just walk into the woods, you know. Uh. I've agreed that I would give them a chance, but I won't let it go without a fight. If those little creatures of yours can't do this, then they're not worth the risk. The mayor wants you to prove yourself. Use everything you've learned so far to complete the goal. If you're having trouble, expand logistics network by finding more giant trees and building more workstations. Don't forget that you can send your sparks to harvest trees for wood. 40 stumpy sparks and 60 sawn timber. I actually haven't revisited my sawn timber place, so I don't know how they're going. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna need a lot. Can I get ether from the stone? I think I can. I'm just going to set you guys all up doing that. I'm coming to check on these guys. How much? 60 sawn timber. I think I'm already there. Oop, that's not what I wanted. 20, 40, 6. Okay, we've already got the timber, so now I just need 40 stumpy sparks. Did you guys finish this stuff over here? Forty stumpy sparks, sixty timber. Twenty, forty, sixty, forty stumpy sparks. We got them. Back to the mayor. We've proved ourselves. Everything you asked for. I feel like I feel like the mayor just kind of gamed the system just then. She's like, if I'm gonna allow you to continue to do this, you're gonna have to deliver me forty helpers and sixty pieces of resource. She just like was just wants them for herself. Watch me come back and she'd be just having all her little minions doing stuff for her. The man takes the inventory of the items she asked for with disbelief. She can't believe that worked. She can't believe she tricked me into giving her all that stuff. This is what we normally make in a month. I Okay, I clearly can't stop you, but promise me that you'll take care of yourself. Ah. I'm proud of you no matter what you do. Always have been. Okay, I thought the demo was going to stop at tier 1. You're telling me the demo goes until tier 2? Unlocking tier 2 might be a good place to pause. I have been playing for over two hours now and have unlocked tier 2. I think when they promised over three hours in the demo, that is going to be more than accurate. This game immediately sucked me in with how cute it was, but now I'm also invested in the storyline and I'm also excited to see how big I can make the automation processes like I've already got it in my head. How much space on the map you could take up. The map shows your little paths where you have things set up. We have two tiny little automations going. I'm also using this to steal a shrine over here. But look how much space there is. Imagine all the automations you can get going. At the time of recording, you can access the Odd Sparks demo for free on Steam. If you want to play it as well, the link will be down in the description. Definitely recommend you go check it out. Go wishlist it. I'll definitely keep my eye out for when the full game releases because this has been a lot of fun. I could sit here for so long and play this game. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hopefully I catch you in the next one.